What's up, y'all? Uh, guys, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these kind of workshop, let's dive in, solve a problem, give you a worksheet to go solve that problem types of videos. And in this one, I'm going to talk about my energy audit. I posted something the other day uh, on Instagram, and it blew up. There's a bunch of people asking, like, how do you do the energy audit? What does it look like? And so I'm going to walk through this. This is this is out of our, um, our EPIC program. I'm just going to grab some bits and pieces of this. But the problems that we end up experiencing when we're not building our our business and building our time based off of energy and we optimize for money or we optimize for uh, productivity, we start to lack, lack joy in work. We start to you know, lose focus and, and have a full schedule. We look at our schedule and it's crammed full, but we're going, man, what do I work on? And we end up chasing the things that produce revenue, but they might actually be draining our energy. We leave the leftovers for our family oftentimes. The very people that, that we say that we're doing this work for, we leave the leftovers for them unintentionally. We don't do it intentionally, but we're trying to do what's best for our business, but the business is wearing us out. We get tied to our email, tied to our cell phone, tied to Slack messages, and at the end of the day, you end up optimizing for money. Why? Because everyone says you should. Everyone says that the way to grow a business is to optimize for income, do the things that make you money, and then delegate everything else, right? Well, I'm here to say that's completely opposite of what I've found is true to build a multiple eight-figure company uh, and uh, in a very high net worth. So uh, I originally came up with this concept. This is a picture when I was in Toronto with my coach, Dan Martell. This is probably back in 2017, 2018. I introduced the concept of the energy audit. And this process I created in 2012 when I was going through my own version of this, where I was wore out in my business. I was burnt out. I didn't want to do the work in the business I had created for myself. And I said, there's got to be a better way. Either I'm going to give up entrepreneurship and give up business, or I'm going to go down the path of actually learning how to build a business I enjoy and can and I do it in a way where it also makes me a lot of money. And so the real promise with this energy audit is you start to love your work again. You start to have more boundless energy throughout your work days and your work weeks. You unlock your real potential when you're focusing on energy rather than productivity. Uh, it increases your freedom. Uh, it increases your money. And you start to attract amazing talent because of the energy that people see from you. So the way that this starts to work and the way that this starts to look like is this at every phase of your business at every phase of the the threes and tens i call them where your business breaks you're required to up level and i like to do that through trading energy i trade energy okay i trade out the energy drains and add things that give me energy and every one of these little spots you're gonna have to step backwards for a little bit sometimes before you go up but the aim is you're continually trading out uh, energy drains and you're training up energy gives and it's basically every quarter I'm training out five, 10 hours of things that drain my energy. I'll show you how I do that. And then uh, trading up things that give me energy, things that I love to do, things I'm really good at. And that doesn't include just things that make money. It could be working out. It could be spending time with friends, but I'm removing the things first that drain energy. What, what most people try to do is they try to add things. What I'm saying is you actually, energy audit is actually a removal process, and then you fill it back in with the things that give you energy. So this is an example of my energy audit. What you can do in the, uh, just below here and wherever this is, Facebook, Instagram, uh, comment the word energy, okay? DM, or not DM me, comment the word energy below, E-N-E-R-G-Y. I'll send you uh, this whole worksheet and my energy audit. I do one of these every single quarter or when I'm at the spot where I'm getting burnt out, Okay, energy audit, and then you're going to go through and first uh, do you know write down the things that drain your energy. Now these are, this is on an average week. What drains your energy? What are the things you're currently doing right now that when you're done doing them, they actually you have less energy when you're done than when you started. Uh, and anything goes here, guys, including and especially the things that make you money. Okay, if you're doing things that make you money, but they drain the life out of you, but like I can't stop doing those because they make me money. Those are the exact things you need to be getting off of your plate because that's how we build businesses we we um, resent. That's how, how we build businesses that we actually get distracted from. We have a pain line that we want to move away from and we avoid the hard things in that business and then we, we get distracted with new opportunities and that business that got us or erodes away and then we're in crisis mode where we've got to get that business going again, okay? So write down all the things that drain your energy. Okay, for me, it's anything execution. I love strategy. Uh, for me, it's meetings that don't go anywhere. I want to be able to quickly go on meetings. For me, it's in front of Slack. It's in front of the computer too many hours in a row. It's for me, too many meetings in a row that are not high energy and engaging where we're solving problems and moving forward. 
Okay, for me, there's so many other topics. The things that give me energy, though. So you write down those things that drain your energy, and then you write down the things that give you energy. Now, these are things, especially the things that you're not currently doing right now, okay? Write down the things especially that give you energy, but you are not spending time in your calendar to do them, okay? What are those? You know, for me, I love strategy. I want to be in strategy most of the time, low execution. I love working out. I love spending time with friends. I love coaching people, whether it's my team or customers in our Epic program. Um, I love those things. So write down all the things that you absolutely love, that you're really good at, and they give you energy, whether they make you money or not, okay? Then the next part is you're going to circle one or two of the things that drain your energy the most. Then write down how many hours a week uh, each one of those things is currently taking up on your time. So let's say this one takes seven, that one takes three. That's 10 hours a week of things that are draining your energy. Even if they make you money, we need to find a way to delegate. So that's my number one priority now that quarter is to document and delegate and replace myself in those areas that drain my energy and hand them to somebody else. Now I'm going to go over here and say, where am I going to spend that 10 hours with things that give me energy? So it could be starting a podcast. They don't have to make you money per se, but they should be things that you're good at, that you want to do, that you you um, could be world class at, and or they give you energy. Because even if they don't make you money, but they give you energy in your work week, like working out or doing that Bible study or you know starting a podcast, if they give you energy, that's actually going to fuel you to be better in the rest of your part of your job. So you don't resent your work anymore, but you love it because now you have these little pockets of energy. Okay, what I always want to do now here is what's what is not measured can't be moved. So write down your percentage. When I started this in 2012, my energy give percentage was only 20%. 20% of my average work week gave me energy. 80% drained my energy. No wonder I did not want to do the work in the business that I had created. No wonder I got distracted with other opportunity and my, that business started to erode back in 2010, you know, 11, 12. Um, what I did though is after I started this energy audit, I was intentional trading out the drains in for the gives. Over the course of about two years, I flip-flopped this to about 80% energy give and 20% energy drain. Okay, guys, the key principles here I'm going to go into in a deeper training video. If you if you comment energy below, I'm going to give you a full 60-minute uh, impact call. I call it here in our Epic program for our highest level clients here at Carrot, where I dive into the trade model, T-R-A-D-E. It's an acronym, and I dive into exactly how to dive into and really adjust your schedule and your life and your business towards energy. So guys, comment below the word energy. I will give you this worksheet. We'll give you this slide deck. I'm going to dive into on a video very deeply what the trade model is. And I want you to do this energy audit and change your life. All right, guys, comment energy. And if you're interested in uh, having a coach, having an amazing community, having models to follow like this in your business as you scale from 200,000 to 500,000 to a million, to 3 million to 10 million plus, as a real estate investor or agent, um, let me know. Comment epic. You can comment the word epic below. We're working with dozens of top investors and agents around the country uh, that are in between you know, 250000 a year and $12 million a year to help them buy back more of their time to build a business of freedom and impact and help you through those pain lines. Comment epic, and I'll send you details on epic. All right, guys, get the worksheet. That's energy. If you want to know about the program, that's epic.